Peter Von Panda here. Hey, what's up, coffee drinkers? Everyone is into hand-dripped, pour-over coffee drippers these days. It is all the rage. I'm not entirely sure why. I can't really tell the difference in taste, but that might be because um, I'm drunk most of the time. But hey, I picked up another pour-over coffee dripper here. I actually picked up several of them. I'm going to try out a bunch of them. They normally look about the same. I have one and they're easy to clean up. They're easy to use, but they take a while to, you know, brew because you're doing it by hand. But what I will say is that the beauty of like this one from Nest Park is that you can find these now pretty inexpensively. And what I why that's important is because when you're making a cup of hand poured dripped coffee, it takes a while. And so if you have a few people over that are like, yeah, I'll have one of those, you're going to need like one of these for each person because you're going to heat up water, put one on top of each cup. So if you have four people, you're going to need really like four of these bad boys. So you're going to have to figure out a way to load up your inventory with these pour over coffee drippers without breaking the bank because... Like the first one I showed you by Coronado Home, it was 30 bones, you know. So I wanted to check out some of these cheaper ones and see if, uh, you know, they lived up to that kind of standard because I don't really see a lot of difference. Now, this one from Nest Park is pretty similar, as far as I can tell, very, very similar. You've, you've got this um, kind of wire holder. You have a base plate here. Everything looks like it's stainless steel. It looks like it's pretty well made. It, the, the base plate here is actually uh, fairly thick like sheet metal um, or stamp metal it's not super thin and in fact what I like is that it's a brush finish instead of the the other one which is a polished finish because it doesn't show fingerprints and water spots as much as the other one now what this one does not have is a silicone or rubberized ring around the side um, not a big deal, I think. I'm not actually even sure what that's for other than maybe kind of protecting your hand. But because of how thick this is, I, I don't think it's kind of, uh, you know, as uncomfortable as some of maybe the thinner metal. And so I think the thinner metal might kind of need or require a little bit more protection on the side. Um, I don't know if it's for banging around too, but that looks about the same. Then the 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 filter itself looks almost exactly the same here too. You've got a little like handle here so that you know I can put it in you can grab it a little spot there and they and it obviously has the nest park logo on it but that makes it easy to lift it up you can see that really super fine I mean you can't even really see the uh, the mesh itself it kind of looks like paper on the inside here so I guess it's retina mesh um, and then you can see the very very small perforations the tiny little holes on the outside of this kind of shiny stainless steel cone. And basically what happens is it, does, it allows the coffee to kind of ooze out of these little pores and then drips, the gravity kind of pulls it and drips right down. The other thing I will say here, as opposed to the Doodlebug one, is that the, the base right here is much smaller. It's actually smaller than a dime. That actually seems like a better design to me because you know, you're gonna have more coffee dripping in one area and then the, the, the dripping coffee coming out of Kind of a more focused place as opposed to the bigger the bottom i feel like it could drip kind of and slide around and you'd have a kind of a larger drip uh area maybe or maybe not i also feel like the smaller the area here um, the less things would collect and maybe clog up so we're, we're going to try that out but i think this is very much in the standard design that i've seen on coffee drippers i have no doubts that and kind of looking at it and feeling it that it's going to work well. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a preview because all the coffee drippers I have recently picked up have been under $10. That is literally less than a third of a lot of the other coffee drippers I've seen. So the nice thing is for 30 bucks, you can pick up three of these brew three cups of coffee as opposed to one. Now you can do one after the other, but it's just going to take some time. So wanted to check it out. This one is the Nest Park pour over coffee dripper. I think it looks pretty good. Peter Von Panda, out.